Yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. So it's going idiot. wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry what? that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me and I'll stay out of the way. I can see the way you look at No way. So, as you can see, I have a present from my wife and son. A um, little bit of a background on that. I, in a recent video, I'll put the thing up there, I was speaking about exhausts and what I'm looking for for the Speed Triple. Now, I mentioned in that video, I'm a bit of a weirdo. I don't want a louder exhaust. I don't want a small bean can style exhaust. I don't want something that doesn't look like it was built in the factory. So I wanted something along the same lines as the original, but just slightly nicer. Now I kept looking at one, which is this, and speaking to my wife, cause you know, they're not really cheap. And um, well, she said, no. She said, look, it's not the right time, it's a bit silly, it's not needed. Um, and then, as you see, I got an early birthday present. So, uh, as you can see, the cat's already trying to open it. So let's have a look what's inside, and then I just can't wait to get the thing on the bike. Oh, wow, <laughs> this is so cool. So, it's like a cover and the hardware, instructions, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, <laughs> that is so, so sexy. So it's carbon fibre and stainless steel. It's the slip-on, so it's still Euro 5. I'm not expecting any difference in dB, which if you saw that video, you'll see that's what I want. If I do want more sound, I can do a um, an exhaust valve kit that will bring bring up a bit more volume, but um, and you can decat it and it becomes monstrous. Do that. And all of the various nuts and bolts. Let's look at the instructions. Okay. So the two there. They're in there. Another one that probably has to go on first to hold that on there. I think that's just a close up of that. Quality. It is stunning. So to remove this, we have one there, have to get from underneath, and one there. So we're going to get my tools. Anything else? No. It's a very fine, high quality exhaust though. Yeah. Right, let's have a look.
look in there, I just can't see probably, there's the, the, there's the exhaust valve. That's piloted by these two cables to the server. So there's the toaster. It is a very well made toaster though. And look at the design, the quality is, is amazing for factory exhaust. And there's the SP Porter. So as you can see, it is slightly smaller, but it's still that shape that I was looking for. is filming at the moment. Hello, Mr. Gatsu. So, let's go for our first ride out. So if you want an exhaust that's loud, this is not the one. As I mentioned on the previous videos, I don't like loud, well not silly loud. I don't want to cover the induction sound that comes from this glorious triple that comes from the front that from my experience trying other speed triples with loud exhaust it does cover all you hear is the back I don't want to annoy people it does you know it's not for me anyway that is of course personal opinion other people like different things and 100% 100% agree with that now what's my first impression on the sound well as you can see in the video before I did the comparison so sound level is the same the SC project though does have a richer warmer sound I think it sounds beautiful it is absolutely everything that I want and a lot of people are not going to agree with that I wanted to slightly increase the warmth of the sound and that's what I got it's taken me three years to really decide or to find this exhaust if I was to be asked to build an exhaust for this bike now and to design an exhaust this is what I would design so I'm chuffed to bits it looks Freaking awesome! And as you saw at the beginning of the video, I wasn't even supposed to get this. My wife said no. Yes, she's the boss. What does it sound like on the bike? Uh, when you when you're up to I'm doing 50 miles an hour. It's it's about the same same sort of sound. It's the perception seems to be a bit of a nicer 
bit of a lower sound, but that could be just perception. You only really hear it when you're standing by the exhaust, that warmer sound that the SC project has. If I can get past this car, I'll see if what it's like with the induction. Do, do I lose it and still maintain a bit of sound? Let's have a go. No, you can still hear the induction. You can hear, a, it's actually a really nice balance. Oh, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. Chuffed two bits. Now there are things I can do in the future if I decide I want to go down the hooligan route. Now the first and most obvious one will be to remove the exhaust valve. Now the exhaust valve is a kind of Euro emissions thing that restricts exhaust gases at lower speeds. Now that gives it a deeper sound more than anything when you're at low idle or you know it's not moving or going slowly. It of course just means that when I'm warming up the bike in the morning uh, the bike is twice as loud. Yeah, I suppose it's a bit nicer at bike nights so everyone can go ooh you seem good. Then the other option is of course a full system. Remove the cat you have to remap it because the ECU, the computer, big brother, is not going to like that at all. And if you've got any warranty on the bike, whoa, be careful. Because if something should happen, uh, they'll screw you. There's one advantage, whilst people will say, well, a waste of time, it doesn't, it's not any louder, is going to remain, it will eliminate the remarks of, oh my good, when are you going to get a decent exhaust? So, thanks for coming along for the video, but I'd really like to hear your thoughts. Um, be kind. I know there's the loud boys out there, with the growlers. But yeah, tell me your thoughts. Tell me what you've put on your bikes. Obviously, if you've got a speed triple, it's of, uh, of interest as well. And thank you so much for coming along on this video. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.